Stones above the water level would need to be removed and placed on the canal bank to be reserved for use during dam construction the following year. The water level recession was also why the main harbor and Khufu Harbor Temple had lower water ramps. On both sides of the dam, workers built sluice lines to allow transport during periods of reduced water depth. The lowest sluice was at the same depth as the lowest water level in the Nile in the early summer. The sluice's line escalated in height to the top of the canal bank and back down to the lowest level on the other side. When the dam was closed, boats from the Nile would have delivered materials to the dam, where they were reloaded onto barges. Barges carrying smaller stones and goods needed for construction and worker support were lifted in the dam's sluices to enter the basin. To move materials from the basin to the pyramid, Egyptians would have either dug a canal or built a canal on top of the limestone running beside the Khufu quarry. Inspector Mirror described a delivery point in an ancient papyrus found at Wadi al Jarf, which this theory proposes is the area close to the present day Khafre Harbor Temple. The Egyptians stored materials at this site, including granite from Aswan and casing limestone from Tura, before moving it to the pyramid base. This theory suggests a canal ran from the Khufu Basin to the base of the pyramid. The canal started close to the Khafre Harbor Temple's present site, traveling west and slightly north for about 350 meters to the Khufu Quarry. At Khufu Quarry, the canal turned north, stretching approximately 200 meters before reaching the canal surrounding the pyramid base. The Egyptians would have dug this canal in the sand or built the canal on top of limestone terrain. To prevent water leakage from the canal, the Egyptians could have used bentonite clay and lime mortar, typical of all stone-to-stone -stone joints between canal stones and surrounding stones. Short pieces of floating papyrus reeds placed on the water's surface could offer shade and slow down evaporation. Every aspect of the Great Pyramid's construction required the use of water. Constant water use led to fluctuating water levels in the Khufu Basin.